Hi everyone, thanks for joining us again for your gymnastics sessions at home. I hope you're enjoying them. Please make sure, just like before, that you've got enough space around you and that you have parents' supervision while you join in with us for your gymnastics. Today we're going to carry on focusing on the theme of balancing. Last week we spent time balancing on one leg and working on our being able to stay still on our balance and our posture. This week we're going to use a bit more strength and we're going to do some floor based balances so I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on with those. You will need some cushions for padding so and to help you with the activities that we're doing today. So if you can have a couple of cushions ready and then we'll be able to get started. I'm actually going to take one of these cushions because our warm-up game today we normally play with a partner it's my favorite warm-up game called uh, over under round and in club you'd usually have a partner if you have a partner great otherwise a cushion is going to be your pair today so you just need to follow the instructions as quick as you can and then you're going to finish in a star shape nice and stretched out at the end so it's nice and simple if i say over you need to jump over the top if I say under, you need to come down to the floor, roll underneath your pillow, and then come up. And if I say round, you need to run around your cushion. If you're working with a partner, you just swap over each time I give a list of instructions, take turns to do it. So I'll help you enjoy the first couple, and then you're just gonna try and do it with my instructions after the first few. So for a practice, let's try over, under and then round. So we're going to jump over, we're going to go under and then we're going to run around and then finish. Good, we've got nice big star shapes for our finish position. Excellent. Okay, this time let's try around, over, around. So we run around, jump over, and then we run around again and then finish. Cool. Okay, so you've got to have good listening ears on. Pay attention. Listen to the instructions before you start to go. Let's try over, under, over. We go over, underneath, and then over. Start. Good. How quickly are we getting back to that star position? Good. Okay, I'm going to try one more with you. Um, let's do under, under, around. So I'm going to go under, under, and then around, <laughs> and star. Good. Okay, let's try a couple more. Um, can you go over, over, around, around? Go. Remember to finish in your star shape. Excellent. Did we all remember those instructions? Let's try another one then. We'll go around, over, around, under. Go. And remember to finish. How quickly can you get back to that star shape? Nice big tall star. Good work. Let's do two more. Let me see. Can you go over, under, over, under? And finish position. Excellent. Okay, last one. I think I'll join in with this one again. Let's try under, around, under, over. So we're going to go under, around, under, and over. Finish. Excellent. Okay, pop your cushions to the side. We're going to do our top to bottom stretch, get our body moving and feeling ready for our gymnastics. Put your head over to one side. 
Try and get your ear towards your shoulder, don't lift your shoulder up. And the other side. <clears throat> and chin on your chest. Look up to the ceiling, keep your head long so you should still be able to talk. Or have a wee sing song. La la la. And roll your chin down and round from one side to the other. Keeping your shoulders up, so it's just your head moving. Okay, look over your shoulder. Shoulders facing the front and to the other side. Excellent, shrug your shoulders up, drop them down and then shrug them up and roll them back and down. Okay, let's draw nice big circles with your arms up past your ears and down the back. Forwards. One arm forwards, one arm back. Has everyone got this one figured out by now? Bit of coordination required there, try it the other way. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to do a circle with our bodies this time. Today we're going to go up and over like a side stretch. So we're going to reach down to our toes, round the middle, over to the other side, and then up and over. So you might want to watch me first. I'm going to go back the other way, over the side, reach to your toes, cross the middle, to the other toe, up and over. Let's try those with me. Reach over the top, towards your toe, cross the middle, other toe, up and over, back the way you came. Over the top, as far as you can, draw as big a circle as you can, to the other side, up and over. One more on each side. You've got to draw as big a circle with your body. Reach right over, through the middle, over the top, and back to start. And one last time. Excellent. Let's see our flat backs. Make a nice table. So if you find it easy, you can bring your arms up or keep them out to the side. If you need to, we want to have a nice table. You might feel it stretch down the back of your legs, so your legs should be straight, shoulders up, and then forwards. You don't want your legs too far apart, just a little bit. Good, and touch the floor. Can you lift back up to a flat back from here? So let's get your shoulders back and find that table position. And down into straddle. Let's do our japana today. So arms up by your ears. We're gonna reach as far as you can forwards without letting your big toes go on the floor. How far can you get those hands? Keep reaching for that favorite sweetie. And back up. Let's pop your hands on the floor this time. We're gonna take our hands for 10 steps walk. Hope you're all enjoying your daily walks. Okay, we're ready. Moving your hands one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't go any further. Keep trying. Ten. Well done. Okay, count with me this time. We're going to go as far as we can and hold for ten at the bottom. Are we ready? Reach as far as you can and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, give your legs a shake. Okay, let's warm up our ankles, get them moving. So nice circles with your toes. We want nice pointed feet in gymnastics, so get your ankles moving. And the other one, can you draw nice big circles with your toes? See happy feet, point your toes. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Angry feet, pull them back. Happy feet and angry feet. Good. Onto your hands and knees. Let's see happy cat. Long neck. Angry cat. Can you push your shoulders up into your ears? So there's no gaps beside your arms and your ears. Happy cat. And angry cat. 
Think about tucking your tail between your legs. It's more of a scared cat, really. Happy cat. And angry cat. And stretch back. So you're going to try and reach your armpits towards the floor, sitting on your heels. And push forwards. Keep your tummy muscles lifted and a long neck. So I'm squeezing as I'm in this position. And if I can try and touch my toes to my head, great. But I'm not very close at all. <laughs> okay, back up onto your hands and knees. Let's do dizzy cat. You need to get your wrists nice and flexible again, ready for your gymnastics. Circle your shoulders over your hands. Turn your paws towards each other and draw circles. Go the other way. Turn your paws away from each other. And then we're just going to make some waves with our wrists. So clasp your hands together and make nice big waves, big stormy waves. And calm sea, little waves. And then the wind changes direction, so the waves go in the other direction. And bigger stormy waves. Good, and shake them off. Excellent. Okay, let's do our stag splits. So we want to keep our splits practiced every day if we can at home. So we're going to put onto our hands and knees, put one leg in front and one leg stretched out behind. Make sure that you keep that back knee hidden and we're going to take our hands off and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you feel that one stretching? Where do you feel it stretch when you do that position? Let's try the other leg and have a think about it. So back leg under, front knee in between your arms. And bring your shoulders back and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel it stretching here. Good work, okay. And we're going to go into our bridge. So if you find it too hard to get up into bridge on your own just yet, just have a rest on this one. Or you can do just your hips. So you can do this. But what we don't want you to do is be resting on your head during your bridge position. So it's important that if you're not ready for it, you don't do this one. So we lie back on your back. Hands in beside your ears. Make sure we've got mini mouse ears and put your fingers towards your shoulders. Hands flat on the floor, feet flat on the floor, and then you're going to push up into your best bridge. And come back down. My bridge isn't very good anymore. I can't get my legs straight. I'm sure you guys know how to do it nicely. Rocking a ball five times. Just watch that there's nothing behind you. Okay, so onto our exercises today. There's a few different skills I would like to try, and then don't worry if you don't get them right away. They take quite a lot of practice because they involve balancing. So you've got to find a position where you stay still when we balance, and they involve lots of strength. So you need to practice to get strong enough, and you need to practice to find where it balances. So it might take you a little while to get the hang of these skills. So the first one is one of my favourites. We're going to do a frog ballad. So some of you will have done this before. I like to start and finish standing up so that we do the skill fully. We're going to stand with our feet like a little triangle. So you need to squeeze your legs out and put your feet out to the side like this. If you have ever done ballet, it's called the first position. And then when we bend down, we're going to crouch down and you're going to make sure your knees make a diamond shape. Okay. And then with my hands, you might want to just watch the first time. Instead of just placing them straight down on the floor, 
I'm going to put the back of my arms this bit here against the inside of my legs and press like a frog this is why it's called the frog balance and my fingers are spread out really wide and then I'm just placing them on the floor so just watch the first time tipping forwards onto my toes keep pressing as I point my toes off the ground so I don't jump I gently lift my toes off put them back down and then I can do a nice stretch to finish so let's get your cushions this time you're going to join in with me place your cushion in front of you I might demonstrate one forwards with you and then one sideways let's put our triangle with our feet and we're going to bend down into our diamond wave your hands spread your fingers out wide now let's press the back of your arms make sure we've got the right bit top of your arm press the back of your arms on the inside of your leg like a frog place your fingers and hands flat on the floor and you're just going to lean towards your cushion and point your toes and put your toes back down and come back up did anybody manage to do it without falling forwards onto their cushion it's very difficult this one so keep practicing it takes lots and lots of time to get the hang of these ones let's try a one more time with me okay so make your triangle with your feet who remembers what shape we make next let's make our diamond with our legs wave your hands fingers spread out wide which part of your arm the back of your arm against your legs like a frog even this bit's quite difficult to balance place your hands down and lean forwards point your toes and find your balance pushing on the floor the whole time place your feet down and finish good job well done if you manage to hold that balance it's quite a difficult one i'll give you a little clue a little tip it's one of the only skills in gymnastics along with one of the other ones that we're doing today where your arms stay bent so if you had straight arms it's actually very very difficult you can keep your arms bent when we do the frog balance okay so that's one you can practice in your own time now try and remember all those little positions and make sure you've got some cushions to help you our next one is one that lots of you will have done before in club as well is called a headstand now it's funny that it's called a headstand because there's more than your head on the ground. I'm going to demonstrate for you and I want you to look at how many parts of my body are on the floor. So when you practice you're going to do this with a cushion for your head and you're going to have another cushion in front in case you fall over or if you've got your sofa in front of you you can put your cushion there and it's there for your back with your back against the sofa. So I'm going to show you with the sofa first. So my cushion's on the floor for my head. Have a watch, I'm putting my hands down, and my head down. So what else was on the floor? I think you may have said the answer before I did it, but which other body part was on the floor when I did my headstand? Yes, my hands are also on the floor and that's really, really important because you should actually be leaning quite a lot on your hands and my arms are bent again and I need to hold them strong in this position when I do my headstand. If I start straightening my arms and pushing the floor, I'll go over the top and if I don't use my arms and I just let them relax, I'll come back down. So we need to find balance in the middle again, okay? So try it with me this time. You're going to start kneeling down, place your hands on the floor in front of your cushion, fingers spread out wide, place your head on your cushion and lift your hips up, tuck your legs in one at a time and back down the way we went up. How did that go? Did anybody manage to stop themselves from going over? 
You see lots of headstands that look like forward rolls when people are learning. We really want to come back down the way we went up. So don't push yourself, don't jump, just lift up nice and slowly. I'll give you a little extra tip today. I say that headstands have two triangles. See if you can spot the two triangles when I do my headstand this time. So the first triangle at the beginning and then the second triangle on the way up. So the first triangle is my head and my hands. They draw a triangle. So from my head to each of my hands makes a triangle. And the second triangle is from my head up to my hips and down to my toes. So before I take my feet off the ground, I've made another triangle. That way, you can lift slowly into your headstand without jumping. Let's try it one more time with me and then you can practice it in your own time at home. Now we're just staying tucked in our headstands. It's important that you stay tucked until you get the hang of the balance. Don't try and bring your legs up high until you're sure that you can stay still in your headstand and keep control. Okay, are we ready? Hands down, spread out, fingers. Place your head on your cushion, long neck. Triangle two. Walk your feet out if you need to. One leg up, other leg up. And back down the way we came. Well done. Hopefully we're starting to get the hang of the balance. But what the most important thing to remember is keep using your arms, don't take your hands off. So we really want to keep that triangle position with your head and hands and a triangle with your hips lifting. Okay, so that's all we have time for today. That's two balances on the floor that you can keep practicing. Please stay safe and make sure you've got lots of cushions around you and a parent to help you out if you need to. Thanks for joining us. Keep practicing. Send us some pictures if you can of you working hard at home. We'd love to see them and we'll see you again next week.